So I'm vlogging. I'm on the train. You see this big? I, I don't know. Like I woke up and I just had a third person on my head. But disregard the bump. I don't know. I'm trying to get everything to like get it go to get it to go down. I don't know what's going on with it. But I love my hair. I think it looks really cute. Really cute. Finally wearing it down after wearing it up. The lighting is crazy. Okay, that looks better. Let me hide the bump. <laughs> yeah, but um, just came from work. I'm trying to rush home to see this um, Cavaliers Golden State game. And I was like, let me come on and vlog. I had a good day. But I had some trying customers today. Like, come on now. Like, I do makeup. We do makeup. I serve makeup. I sell makeup. Whatever. But stop acting like I'm your personal assistant because I'm not. I'm assisting this lady and this this black woman. And, you know, I'm talking to her. And she's like, oh, you know, she wants an eyeliner, A, B, C, and D. This other black lady walks up out of nowhere as I'm walking off to go get the young lady's well, you know, the, the woman's products. She's going to ask me, where are you going? I said, I'm going to get her stuff. She said, why? I said, because um, she wants to buy some things. She goes, well, I need your help. The polite thing to do would have been, excuse me, um, I see that you're busy, but I really need your help. You know what I'm saying? Okay, fine. No. She comes up. And she's like, well, where are you going? I need your help. I said, I'm, I'm thinking that she's with the train is like shutting down. I don't know why they keep shutting the lights off and on, but whatever. So I'm like, I'm going to get your girl products because the way she walked up, I assumed that she knew the lady that I was initially helping. So I was like, okay. Like she really, she really just tried my patience. She really just tried my patience. Um, so I walk off to go to get her products, and the woman follows me. Because that's when you, you, when you, whenever I help somebody and I tell them I'll be right back, they always want to follow me. But that's fine. That's whatever. So as she's walking, I turn around because I see her behind me, and I go, Do you know her? She goes, No, I don't know her. I said, Wait a minute. So she's a perfect stranger, buttoning into what we got going on because she needs help and she wants me right away. I'm not your personal assistant. You have to wait your turn. So long story short, she goes, oh, um, I just want to know about a primer. You know, I'm like, oh, what kind of skin do you have? A, B, C, and D. I show her the primers. She's like, oh, can I get a sample? So you gave me all of that fever, irritation, and aggravation for a sample. She needed to get her life. So after that, I was like, two through, two done, not even in the mood. So I said, my makeup still looks good. I'm a little oily, but my makeup still on. Yeah, but so she's like, oh yeah, um, I, I just want a sample of it. How much is it? I told her the price. No, first I told her the price and she's like, oh, well, can I get a sample? I said, you know what? I gave her the sample and she went about her business. But the moral of the story is stop coming to certain makeup counters thinking that the people that work there are your personal assistants. I'm not your personal assistant. Come with manners, come correct, and be polite. Because when you're getting off the train, when you're um, rude to them, they're quick to go on YouTube and rant. Like, oh, I went to this particular counter and the, the artists there are so mean and I will never go back to this. So rude and disrespectful. But you need to know that you have to come to the counter with manners and come correct. Don't just come to a counter and assume that I'm your maid, I'm your personal assistant, I'm your genie, I'm a mind reader, I have telekinesis, I'm a magician, I'm a construction worker. I'm none of those things. Okay, I'm heading down the steps. I'm not trying to die. But yeah, I just couldn't be bothered with it. I was like, is she serious right now? Like, she can't seriously be serious. She can't be serious, y'all. But yeah, she was so serious. 
about the whole Ooh, my bus is coming. I got to run. I'm about to run, y'all. I got I got I'll be back. Why I ran for the bus and the bus the bus left? I'm running like No! Don't be be hold some hold on and the bus left. But whatever. I'm not tripping about it. It's all good. I'm about to hop on another one. I'll be back. So yeah. Thought I could hop on the 12 bus. It's not even going my way. So yeah. I just don't understand why people always assume like you're their personal assistant, you're their maid. It doesn't matter if you're shopping for makeup, clothes, shoes, even bundles. Have manners and be courteous to the person that's helping you. Because ultimately, you're here for my help. So therefore, you shouldn't like... Oh, this is better lighting. You shouldn't like be upset when I'm helping someone else. It was only like two of us on the floor. No, yeah, it was just me and someone else, two of us. And I was like, I, I, I announced it. I was like, guys, there's only two of us right now. You know, bear with us. And then what's so crazy is I'm multitasking, helping other people. And she was upset that I was helping other people besides her. And I'm, I mean, at, along with her. And I'm like, why are you mad that I said I, I'm multitasking? And I repeated everything that she said to me. And I still was on the way to getting what the other people wanted because they already knew what they wanted, what they came to purchase. So I was like, I'm good. She's like, oh, you can multitask and like listen to me. And I'm like, lady, I'm a mom. I multitask all the time. There's no reason why I can't multitask. And why are you upset? Just I hear you say what you have to say. Say what you have to say. So, yeah, that's my little rant of the day. Well, not a really a rant, but just just be courteous. Just could be just be courteous when you come to certain counters or makeup or anything. Like I said, just be courteous to the person, because at the end of the day, you're here for a service. And I can't service you if you're not allowing me to service you and you're not giving me time. And I'm letting you know that it's just the two of us, A, B, C and D. I just didn't get it, but I'm trying to rush home to watch this, this for second game, well, no, third game of the finals, and the damn bus left me. You know what I'm saying? Look, come on, MTA, get with the program. So, yeah, besides that, um, I'm good. I had a good day, and I just wanted to come on and just vent. Oh, and another thing. Yeah, I have to look to see if the bus is coming. Oh, my hand's getting tired and I need good lighting. Okay. Another thing is stop coming to a, a makeup counter with your friend that swear she's a makeup artist. And she don't know nothing but eyeliner, and mascara and a little bronzer. Telling me or telling the friend like, oh, I don't think that looks right. Oh, my God. I'm here. You came here and you met me, right? Not saying that all artists know what they're doing or that all artists are bad. But if you come for a service, tell your tired friend to stay her ass home. I don't need her telling me what looks good on you, what she think I should try on you. Stop. Stop. If you're coming here for an experience and you want to be color match, foundation, concealer, powder, or whatever, leave your friend that swears she knows something home. Because nine times out of ten, she don't know nothing. And I try to be as courteous as I can, but I have to let them know, like, you know, I'm the professional. I know what I'm doing. That's why I'm here. So if that's the case, you can take this brush belt and keep it moving. But, yeah, they always want to come to the counter. Damn, she, I'm vlogging and she all in my vlog. Why are you minding my business, lady? So, yeah, anyway, um, she's like... Oh, well, I think you should try. And eh, eh, eh. It was a good sale nonetheless, but it's very frustrating and annoying as an artist to have someone you're trying to color match and their friend is in the air chirping like, oh, I don't think that looks good. How do you know your friend's not a hater and she doesn't want you to look better than her? So whenever that happens, I try to nip it in the butt. I go, I'm the professional. I never say that until they irritate the hell out of me. And I have to really get in that ass and be like, listen, like, are you serious right now? 
I have to let them know, like, you came here for my opinion. I'm going to color match you, and that's it. Like, I said, are we, I always say, are we good? Are we good? Do you want to converse with your friend and figure things out and then come to me? Because it's so frustrating that you're trying to talk to a client and her friend is like, oh, I don't think, and oh, I will, and you should try. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. It's annoying. And I talk to everybody else at the counter, and they're like, yeah, we always get that one person a day that their friend swears that they know more than you, so why don't you do the makeup? Like, come on. It's very annoying and frustrating as an artist to have someone irritating the sh out of ya. It's just annoying. It's just a, it's a pet peeve I have. Like, shut up. Bring your friend as a makeup artist. And then another thing, too. You're telling them about the Fix Plus. Oh, yeah, I know about the Fix Plus because I, I do makeup. Okay. I'm showing your friend Fix Plus. And you're like, oh, I already know about that. Yeah, you can prep your face with that. And then you can spray it down. And Can I do my demo? Can I let her know what's going on? Because if that was the case, you didn't have to ask me for nothing. You could have just kept it moving. Brought your brushes with you because you knew you were going makeup shopping and keep it moving. But yeah, I'm just waiting at Pelham Bay Park for my bus. And I missed one, so I know ain't no more coming no time soon. That's why I keep looking back. But yeah, um, I'm here vlogging out in these Bronx streets. I always say that I'm crazy, but yeah, I just wanted to come on, do a quick vlog. So, I'm going to try to upload this now since I ain't got nothing else to do. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, if anything, I'll vlog later. Bye.